Hello everyone and welcome back to Stay Close. I'm once more near this convenience store here and as you can see there's one of these red-eyed monsters in here. And yeah, I got a little hint from the developer who commented on the previous video. And it seems like these guys only attack when you shine light at them. So as you can see, this guy here seems to be calm now. But as soon as you shine light on him, he, he comes for you. Here we go. can actually have a look at it here. Yeah, so the brain monster, that's just what I call it. So they seem to be a light sensitive. So let's, yeah, now they, they move really fast once you shine light on them. So it might be worth trying to get past the monster in the apartment by just not shining any light on it. I also played around a little bit with the game's performance. Unfortunately, lowering the settings, there are three settings, essentially low, medium and high for a couple of things, doesn't really seem to do a whole lot. So there are some frame rate issues, especially in the larger areas. And yeah, but it doesn't really seem to be possible to do all that much about it. There is also an option for motion blur. I recommend to turn that off ASAP because the motion blur is really headache inducing. I mean, it's it's an option. So hey, why are you, why are you coming after me? I'm shining this light on you. Oh dear. Just make a run for it. Of course now I can't see anything, so let's keep the light on here and then let's walk past this monster here. Yeah, the screen's currently completely black. I can't see anything, so let's so here's a window. Let's, let's oh this floor wasn't the one with the monster. The one with the monster was this floor here. So Oh, so it's at the end of the hallway. So let's get in here. Let's see whether we can anyth see anything in here. Nope, doesn't look like there's anything interesting. Yeah, well, what I want to say is that, yeah, looks good to me. Oh, so here is apparently some sort of eagle. And um, there seems to be quite a lot of stuff here. So the feathers and firewood. And it looks like we found the compass, so I guess we can go back to our friend Cyrus. And hey there, Mr. Glowy Eye Monster. So now only have to find my way here in the near dark. But yeah, this should this should be it. Yeah, looks good. Let's hope that the mannequin monster doesn't actually block the door entirely, because if it does, well not the door, as much as the staircase, because if it does. Then, oh, there's another one. Oh, it came out of the hallway. So the question is whether this one here is now in attack mode or not. And whether it can harm me only if it if it gets... If I make it angry or not. But in any case, so mannequin is here. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm not going to, going to rush this now. So let's make a run for it. And let's go back to Cyrus. Nope, seems to be good. Yeah, with regards to game's performance, uh, I wasn't really able to improve it all that much. So there are some issues, and yeah, turn turn off the motion blur. The mo motion blur is otherwise headache inducing. And while this is while this is flick flickering terribly, let's let's not look at that. So let's talk to this guy here. Game was saved. Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Back again so soon? Yeah, I only died five times to get this compass. I found your compass. Well, give it here. I hope you you caused the pretty bird great misfortune. Oh, my compass, just as I remembered. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'll never lose my way. Tell me where my wife went. I shall, but I should mention the others first. The others. A couple ran through here just like you. They were in a genomous rush and had no time for my games. They went into the park despite my warnings. Would be a shame if something happened to them. Fetch them for me. They deserve a second chance. Okay. Which way, way to the park? This way and that. If you're sharp, the way will be clear. What can you bring back to the dead? Make us cry. Make us laugh. Make us... Young, born in an instant, yet la lasts a lifetime. What can bring back the dead? 
<laughs> Born in okay, that's probably a photo. Okay. Maybe photograph. I mean, it's born in an instant and lasts a lifetime. But you no, know, maybe maybe picture. Let's try that. Uh, maybe image. No, I mean, bring with the dead is a little bit of an exaggeration, but you can look at pictures of your deceased relatives and stuff like that. And make a square, make a laugh. This all fits pretty well because you can look at pictures of your younger self. So maybe capitalization is wrong. Well, that's not how you spell photo. Nope, that's not how you spell photo either. No. I don't get this. So I'm pretty sure it is photo in one way or another. Photo, image, picture, a painting? Well, it's not really born in an instant. That sounds like a photo. So maybe, maybe it's camera. No. Okay. Maybe I'm doing this all wrong, but I'm pretty sure, well, is it, it's not really a film, is it? Because film is not born in an instant, like you just push a button. No. So, okay. Well, I'm not quite sure what, en what, to, what to enter here. I'll, I'll play around a little bit and then we'll see what the correct answer is here. Okay, let's try this one here. Memory. Okay. Oh, wow. Right. Okay, that, that was it. I don't think it fits as well as photo because you make it instant. What flies forever rests never. Um, the wind? Maybe? Nope, definitely. Oh yeah, it was a wind, I guess. What goes through a door but never goes in and never comes out. Okay. Hmm. What goes through a door. Time? Is it one of those puzzles? Nope. It's not time. So what goes through a door but never goes in and never comes out. Mm hmm. Well, it's like the door itself. No, it's not the door itself. Hmm, not quite sure what, what to enter here. No. Yeah, let me think about that for a moment. Okay, I think I got it. It's probably the keyhole, because it goes through the door, obviously. Yeah, there we go. Too easy. You're fun to play with. Ah, uh, that was slightly harder than last time. I still think that photo fits better than memory, but whatever. So, um... That's, wait, I don't even get anything for that, so I'm just stuck here until I answer those questions. Well, anyway, so there were a couple of locations where we couldn't go before because the fog was blocking our way. So my assumption would be that we can go there now. So, oh, oh look at that, another mannequin. Seems to be just standing there. Okay, maybe I should just not go here. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest here, so slowly back away. And yeah, so here is... Oh dear, so I shouldn't have... You're creepy. I shouldn't have gotten that one's attention. So now of course I can't need to see where I want to go through here obviously. So, and this is still not good. Why are you following me? I'm looking at you. You shouldn't do that. Oh, there's more mannequins. That's just great. So, do, do you have to walk backwards through this entire level? I sure hope not, but we'll see. In any case, of course, if there's another mannequin in front of me, then it's not going to help me. So, to see. It seems after you have a certain distance between you and them, you're good. And wow, this oh, whoa, these these lights here, they're flashing. Crazy. And this park is extremely dark. I can can barely see a meter. I've said it before. This game definitely needs a brightness slash gamma setting. And I mean, to be honest, I don't think gamma would do anything here because it's not like it's too dark. There's just complete blackness. Why are you moving? I'm looking at you. You shouldn't be moving. So there's there's a complete blackness, so there's there's nothing I can really do about this. 
So anyway, what do we have here? Nothing of interest and this f light flickering. That makes me nervous. Oh, one of those guys. Oh, well I took... I turn, turned off the light, but definitely not quick enough. Anyway. So it's, I guess it's three mannequins and then it's one of the brain guys. Well, let's just see where... whether we can do this and do this next time. I just realized there's something next to the first mannequin in the park. I'm not quite sure that's... I mean, it kind of looks like a, a demon on a throne with like an orb. I'm not quite sure whether that's just a statue or that's supposed to be something else, but I didn't really notice that the first time. Well, just just gliding here, but whoops. It's definitely something worth noting. So let's let's continue our way here. Should be another mannequin ahead of us. Oh yeah, this one here. Let's try to avoid you. Yeah, I when I came back to the park I didn't trigger the first mannequin, so it seems like you can just completely avoid it by not going into the early way. So are you still following me? It doesn't look like it. So let's turn off the torch and let's just walk past the eye monster here. And so, so there's another mannequin ahead of us. So, but it seems like we don't need the torch to avoid that one. It seems we, oops. Oh, I guess that was past some sort of hill or so. Oh, there's another eye monster. Yeah, so I'll... I'm not going to... Wow, these these lights. These lights, though. So, and... Oh, holy hell, you made me jump. Most definitely. So there's... So there's another mannequin. So the problem is there's also an eye monster. So... Well, the good thing is that I, c I can look at the eye monster. As long as my torch is off, we're good. So let's just slowly walk past this bridge here. Why are you following me? Let's just make a run for it. So objective complete. Where are they? So I guess we're going to read this note here. And here we go. If we provide, we can read that. Yes. Mark and I were hiking back to the camping ground when we noticed a herd of deer. They were grazing in a clearing and Mark really wanted a picture. I did too. We ventured off the path to snap a picture of them, but as soon as we turned around the path vanished. We tracked back the way we came and still could not find it. I don't understand how we could have lost the trail. We literally only walked a few feet away. I insisted that we stay put and call for help, but Mark argued that we knew where to go. We were wandering the woods for hours and hours, walking in complete circles. We would have called for help, but neither of us had reception. Of course, it's a it's a horror it's a horror film slash horror video game thing. There's never cell phone reception. That would be way too easy. We would have called for help, but neither of us had reception. Both of us were exhausted and our bodies cramping and threatening to give out. We were on the verge of giving up when we discovered the town. We were saved. We sprinted down the slope in our excitement and skirted past some of the thickest mist that I'd have ever seen. By the time we reached the town, night had fallen. It was bizarre. The town appeared abandoned. None of the lights were on, so we broke out of our flashlights. There was nobody driving on the streets or walking home. None of the business seemed to be open either. We tried to find a police station when we stumbled upon a man in full body armor. We assumed that he was an officer, but we were so wrong. This guy was a revening lunatic. We found him, he was carrying a full-blown conversation with himself and he snapped at us for interrupting him. We asked him for directions but he started spouting riddles and more nonsense. I was afraid that he might attack us. I pulled Mark away and we continued to explore the town. We never found a police station or a motel, so we went to the local park instead. I would never understand the weather though, by the time we sub camp we could see our breath. It's the middle of summer. Mark just came back from collecting some firewood. Hopefully it's not illegal to build fires in the park and we're freezing our asses off. I just wish Mark never mentioned the statue. It's unnerving me. It's staring at us right now. I never noticed it before. Those curled horns, sharp teeth and cold eyes. Who would build that in a public park? So that is probably the demon statue we saw earlier. I sat by the fire for a little while. Mark the amount that we keep watch. I'm not sure from what. I think he's terrified of what that freak from earlier but won't admit it. Doesn't matter, I'm going to sleep. I just woke up and it's morning now. Mark is gone. I hope that he went to find help. 
I'm putting the remaining coals out. I guess I'll wait until he returns. Weird, I don't see the statue anymore. Alright, that's interesting. So, I guess we can continue here, so let's just do that. Um, at least I think we can. Let's be careful, just in case there's another eye monster. And... So there's another mannequin behind us. Of course, not good. And wow, those those lights. So we can, we can jump down here. I've kind of lost orientation, but I think we're going back. So, which is good, I guess. Anything here? Nope, doesn't look like it. So, yeah, there should be another eye monster here. So I guess we will just go back to Cyrus, because we couldn't find the couple. And... Wow, I can barely see anything. At least I think we're going back. I'm not quite sure, because... This, it's kind of difficult to tell. I hope I'm, I won't just walk past one of the mannequins that's still going to kill me. But it doesn't look like it. In fact, it seems like the mannequins are gone. Which I'm not going to complain about. Nope, they're not gone. This one is actually right here. Let's be careful here. And... No, seems to be rather safe. So, let's not waste any time here. And go right back to, Cy to Cyrus. I realized that Cyrus's room is also a safe room whenever you enter it. The game seems to be saved. At least you get a, a little message like that. So, I guess that's good. Here we go. Cyrus and your, your blank scary stare. Thank goodness. You've returned. I forgot to tell you something. Pay close attention to the billboards scattered around town. Our local celebrity has vanished and we dreadfully miss her. Please keep an eye out for her. Or two. So, what about your friends in the park? Did you find them? Not exactly. I found their tent, though. Yeah, these dialogue boxes, they're really an indicator of who's talking. The first time I talked to Cyrus, I thought that he was the guy missing his wife and not me. But anyway. Oh dear. And I just used all the billboards, too. They're not gone. They're here somewhere. Somewhere, yes. But I don't... But don't you worry, they'll turn up sooner or later. They always do. Until then, let's continue our game. Hands she has, but does not hold. Teeth she has, but does not bite. Feet she has, but they are cold. Eyes she has, but without sight. Who is she? Oh dear. So, hands she has, but does not hold. So it's a lot of human characteristics, but... Hmm... What what has eyes but without sight? I mean, it could be a statue because a statue, obviously. Oh well, I guess a statue could hold something, but statues don't bite. So let's try that, or maybe maybe a doll. Mm, yeah, I guess that's it. Also fits fits using using a female there. I'm in a box that holds keys without locks, yet they can unlock your soul. Keys without locks. And I am a box. Okay. Maybe a book? Mm, a little bit far-fetched, but maybe it's that. Nope, it is not. So, a box that holds keys without locks. What kind of... oh. Maybe piano. Yep, there we go. I make you weak at the worst of all times. I keep you safe, I keep you fine. I make your hands sweat and your heart grow cold. I visit the weak, but seldom the bold. What am I? This is the weak, but seldom the bold. So, hmm, I guess it's fear, because fear does keep you safe, up to a certain degree. Yep, color me impressed. Hmm, I'll tell you what. I misplaced the key to the city, to the city, okay, and I'm tired of searching for it. I haven't checked the building near the city entrance yet. If you find it, I'll let I'll let you use it. Okay. Why do I need it? I'll it'll lead you to your sweetheart. Okay, you promise? I promise. Alright, that's great. So let's just leave this place here and let's come right back. So we save, so we don't have to go through that dialogue next time. And whoa. So 
that's so near the city entrance. To be honest, I kind of forgot where the city entrance was, but I think it's around this corner here. Well, I guess you could also go around the other corner. I don't think it makes much of a difference, really. I know there were a couple of places. So there was the park that was sealed off. And I think the subway entrance. And a couple of other places. So there's another mannequin. Well, not really another one. It's the one from before. I wonder whether there are more eye monsters around here. Because if there are, then we should probably not use a torch. Then again, the torch doesn't really seem to do a lot unless in very specific areas. So can't enter the subway here. So let's not even try it. And let's try to enter that other area that was sealed off by fog. Wherever that exactly was. So is this the apartments? Oh yeah, it seems like it because we just went past the tank. Okay, so maybe go through here. I really wish I could sprint for more than a couple of seconds. But what can you do? Anyway, so there are build... I don't think these are the billboards, are they? Those are just some, some sort of cheetos messages. Oh, it's really dark here. Refrigerated power service. I kind of vaguely remember that. So, is there anything here? I think this is actually the starting area because the, all the body bags are here. The question is, oh, another military vehicle. Didn't didn't pay attention to that before. Oh yeah, this could actually be the building where which was sealed off by the fog before. Or at least I don't recall having been here. No, this this wasn't the starting area, was it? No, I don't think it was. So, for now, oh. let's, let's keep the flashlight off unless we actually need it. So we can keep ourselves. Okay. Fools don't deserve happiness. Okay. That's needlessly mean spirited. So that was an eye monster. But I think I turned off the torch in time. So let's just get out of here. Oh, I guess that wasn't quick enough. Well, see you in a moment then. Okay, this time I went in, the, in there without actually turning my light on. So it seems like the eye monster safe. Oh, there was a mannequin. That's probably what killed us. Yep, sounds like it. So they've got the, the old trick of monsters just appearing behind you after you triggered a certain event and I don't know what that was but it probably was another mannequin oh dear yeah I guess we're going to try this again okay so we'll try this again so the eye monster is here but my my torch is off so it doesn't really matter so there's another eye monster here and the mannequin is here and it seems like we need the torch to keep the mannequin at bay it doesn't seem to work with just it's just looking at it. And I think there's another monster here, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, there, oh yeah, there's more mannequins here. So I guess we're going to not turn our back on those. Let's hope there's not another eye monster. Because if there's another eye monster, that'd be rather mean. So let's go up here slowly. Hey, you're not supposed to move. And get out of here and let's hope there's not more monsters on the street so where was I even supposed to go I think it's around this corner here yeah I think I should know this this town by now it's not that large actually but it's still it's still so dark so and I still wish my stamina meter was a little bit longer that should definitely be be fixed so Let's prepare for more riddles, I guess. So here we go. Cyrus, you liar. The key wasn't there. Wise, old owl sat in, in an oak. The more he heard, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why well, aren't we all like that wise old bird? The more you talk, the larger I get. Hmm, the more you talk, the larger I get. Um, mm hmm good question um 
mouth? Not really, that does, but we well, let's just try it. Or maybe it's noise? No? Hmm. Oh, the more you take, the larger I get. All right, the more you talk, the larger I get. You take the larger I get. Um, hmm, good question. Maybe depth? Nope, it's not it. Hmm. Good question. Yeah, let me think about that for a moment. The more you take, the larger I get. All right, the answer is probably is it gap? Nope. Is it? Come on. Is it hole? Yep, yeah, that fits. Rivers, but no water. Cities, but no buildings. Forests, but no trees. Deserts, but no sand. And mountains, but no rocks. What is it? Okay, rivers, cities, forests, deserts, and mm, good question. Is that the painting? Maybe this time. No, it doesn't really fit. So maybe a dream. It's a little bit vague, though. Nope, that doesn't seem to be it. Hmm. Yeah, some of these seem to be really easy, but maybe I'm just not good at these puzzles. Rivers, but no water. Cities, but no buildings. Forests, but no cities, but no buildings. Oh. This should be it. Yeah. What loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night? Lose its head. Um, the moon? No, probably not. So, loses its head. Hmm, is it maybe time? No. Lose its head in the morning and gets it back at night. Let's try this. Well, that took me quite a while. I'll be on a bonus here. I'm so proud, so proud of you. You deserve a reward, a big reward. I summoned it while we were guessing away. Harry, go to the train station. Okay. Let's just quickly save here again, so don't have to re-enter all those riddles. I think we're going to go to the train station next time. So thanks for watching, and I shall see you then. Back in Stay Close.